Hi, this is Sean Geary, Solution Engineer here at Revenir. Today, I'd like to take a few minutes and discuss Code Insight, a solution to meet your software composition analysis needs. Let's get started by talking about the whole reason we're here and why companies are looking at a software composition analysis solution, such as Code Insight. Typically, applications today are comprised of many different elements, including commercial packages, open source components, as well as your own proprietary code base. The issue is, as you start to peel back the layers, you'll find that the commercial items that have been included may contain open source packages. The open source components that you know about will bring in other open source components. And finally, your own proprietary code may contain aspects of code that have open source origins, such as an example function from Stack Overflow or GitHub. And as the creators of the application or product, you want to know about each and every one of these open source elements due to the fact that each open source component has possible risk. There could be an aspect of risk due to the license attributed to that package and therefore the associated obligations based on the use of that license. For example, based on this license, I must do A, B, and C in order to be compliant with the terms of the license and therefore be able to use the component. There could also be potential risk on the security side as well. If I use this open source component in my system, what are the possible ways that someone could exploit a vulnerability which could allow them to gain access to system data, user data, or something else which in the end could cause bad PR and damage my company's reputation? It's impossible to understand what potential risk there is based on the inclusion of open source in your product or application without first knowing the complete list of open source items that are there in the first place. As I mentioned, one critical stage in fully understanding the risk of including open source in the application is getting a full and complete bill of materials of the open source that is there. You can't know what possible issues there are if you don't know what is there in the first place. One way to generate a bill of materials is via automated discovery. Code Insight can process source as well as binary files, and then through a number of different detection techniques, will generate a list of the open source components that it was able to find. For languages that provide a manifest file, such as new spec file for .NET or Java with its pom.xml file, this is relatively easy. But above and beyond that, Code Insight has millions of rules to determine open source packages based on things like seeing specific groups of files, entire source code packages, and more. One thing to consider, though, is the fact that automated analysis will never give you 100% of the items within your software bill of materials. So above and beyond the automated discovery, Code Insight is also looking for evidence of open source. This evidence, such as copyright statements, license text, and emails, URLs, etc., are provided to allow a human to augment what was found via the automated analysis to complete that bill of materials. The review of this evidence is an optional task, but for some languages, such as C or C++, that don't rely on a package management scheme, Looking at this information could be a key step to fully understanding any potential risk based on the open source within a project. So now let's talk about how Code Insight can be used to create and manage the bill of materials. As mentioned previously, one of the main goals of an SCA solution is to first create that bomb, and then based on this list, provide information that will allow users to understand any possible consequences for what they have within their application. One way Code Insight can create this bill of materials is via our remote scan agents that integrate into the systems and tools that the engineering team is already using, such as IDEs or CI systems like Jenkins. In this situation, a remote scan agent will download a scanner to the system where the code will be scanned, and the results will be supplied to Code Insight for review. This method is all about automated analysis we spoke of earlier. Next, we have the ability to scan directly on the Code Insight server itself. This is a good place to mention that Code Insight is an on-premise solution. Therefore, you're always in 100% complete control of your code and have the ability to install Code Insight on physical hardware or in a virtual or cloud environment as required. So in this scenario, instead of bringing the scanner to the code as we do with the remote scan agents, we bring the code to the scanner. The same automated discovery takes place as with the remote scan, but above and beyond that, we're also looking for the evidence that I spoke of earlier, like copyrights and license text. Third way to add items to inventory is via a manual disclosure process. Some customers will utilize this as a sort of check and balance between expected open source components and what is discovered during a scan. For example, engineering says they're going to be using components A, B, and C, and after a scan, you find A, B, and D. So there could be an investigation as to why there is this disconnect. We also have some optional steps that can be taken if desired. First of all, triaging the items within the bill of materials, if required, is possible. For example, say automated discovery was able to determine that OpenSSL was being used, but it was unable to determine the specific version. It is then possible to update the inventory item and set the correct version. Another optional step would be for the user to look at the evidence gathered during the scanning. 
Using this evidence, it would be possible to manually find open source components and to build out the inventory by adding the items that were not uncovered by automated discovery. Now that we have the complete bill of materials generated by one or more of the previous steps, we have the information in regards to the license and vulnerability details for each and every item within the inventory. At this point, we move from the discovery aspect to the management phase. Based on the information that is now available for each open source item within the BOM, a determination must be made as to whether the item is acceptable or not to be included within the application. The first way this can be addressed is via policy and its ability to automatically review items based on license, vulnerability details, or specific component version information. For example, if component is discovered with a permissive license and no vulnerabilities, the system can approve the item for use. Or on the other hand, if an item has a copyleft base license or a vulnerability of a score of X or above, it can automatically reject that component. For items that are not covered by policy, the system can generate a manual review task that can be assigned to specific stakeholders, such as legal or security, that would allow them to review the item based on the information the system provides to determine if it's acceptable or not for you with use within the application. Ideally, the outcome of any manual review can then be applied back into the policy, such that the next time that a component or similar component is found within the inventory, the review can be automatically addressed. For items that are rejected by policy or that manual review, a remediation task can be generated and assigned to engineering, where the outcome of their efforts are fed back into the code base, such that the next time the code is scanned, the item no longer poses a risk since it has been removed, upgraded, or remediated in some other fashion. Code Insight also has an alerting framework in place. Today, this is focused on vulnerabilities and the fact that new ones are being discovered daily. Code Insight keeps track of every inventory item across all projects, such that if a new vulnerability is discovered and associated to any inventory item within the system, it will alert you to this and let you know that there is now an item within a project that has a vulnerability and action may need to be taken. Finally, there's a lot of data within the system and being able to extract this and allow users to consume this data is critical. Standard reports and the custom report framework with our rich set of APIs provide access to the data from the system and the ability to create report artifacts that contain the exact data that is needed and present it in a format that is best for the users that will consume this information. Now let's take a minute to talk about the data that goes into Code Insight and what comes out the other end. We have collectors that are gathering data for multiple repositories such as Maven, NPM, and GitHub. From these sites, we're gathering information about open source packages, such as versions, license details, and other related metadata about the component. We are also always pulling data from multiple security-based repositories, such as the NVD, RubySec, and Debian advisories that we merge with our collected component data. All of this data is stored within Code Insight to allow us to provide information about the open source components within a project's inventory. Here on the right-hand side, let's talk about our options for scanning code in order to generate inventory to map to all that open source data collected above. I spoke about remote scan agents early, and here you can see what we currently have in regards to plugin support for many different engineering systems. We do also have a remote scan agent that can be integrated into systems that are not specifically mentioned here. When scanning directly on Code Insight, we do offer SCM integrations, which allow users to ensure that they are always scanning the latest code within a project. Prior to a server-based scan, Code Insight will pull the latest updates and only scan the files that have changed since the previous scan. For remediation issues, we do have a JIRA plugin, but our REST APIs will also allow us to integrate theoretically into any workflow-based system for review or remediation purposes. Finally, all of this information comes together within Code Insight, where we offer dashboards that quickly summarize the potential risk at a project and component level, review and remediation task information, ongoing alerts, and a rich reporting framework allowing the data to be extracted and presented in the best way for users to consume the data. Thank you for taking the last few minutes to learn a bit about Code Insight, a solution to help you discover and manage the open source aspects within your application. If you have any further questions or would like to dig deeper, please contact here at Revenera.